Hello, this is Brennan. I'm just going to be explaining a little bit about Ableton Live. This is Ableton Live 8.1. Just going over some uh, some of the most basic stuff, just so you have an idea of uh, what, can, what what this thing can do. So uh, Ableton, I would say, is a uh, very powerful pro program that's uh, great for musicians and producers of really any skill level. Uh, basic tasks can be completed by a newbie pretty easily. Uh, yet there's a lot to explore when you really get under the hood. Uh, it's really great for on-the-fly composing, and there's also a lot of great live applications as well. So let's get started. Uh, again, this is just the basics. Just yeah. Ableton, like uh, other programs, essentially has two windows or views. Uh, there's the arrangement view, which is this here, and there's uh, the session view, which is this over here. Now the arrangement view is used when you want a linear sort of time-based perspective on your session. And you can see the individual tracks lined up over here and the audio or MIDI clips that are associated with those tracks or on those tracks. And uh, this view is probably the best for tracking or recording or uh, editing, doing things like that. <clears throat> uh, so this view over here and the way you, you can cycle through those using these two buttons here. This view here is called the session view, and it serves sort of two purposes. Uh, first, you might notice that it's sort of set up like a traditional mixing board, and uh, all these tracks here, as you can see, I've got the names up here, they correspond with all the tracks down here. So these are, yeah, the same, same but different. And uh, I like to use this view when I'm mixing, as I can see all the faders sort of in, in one place, which makes it nice. But what makes this view really special is that it's got the ability to work with clips of audio or MIDI, uh, which you can have a lot of fun playing with. And those are stored up here. And um, I will go into detail probably in multiple videos about that. Uh, but that's a lot of fun. And uh, everything you can control over here in this view, in the session view, uh, with the exception of things involved with the clips, can also be controlled from over here, uh, the section. Um, like if I expand a track here we've got the volume, the pan, arm track, things like that. You can all control over here, it just depends on what you prefer. Alright, um, so let's go back over here. Down here you'll notice uh, there are two tabs. This tab over here on the right is uh, for inserting effects and you can see the whole effects chain laid out really nice in a sort of in a, an intuitive manner which I really like. So these are all the different effects here. Uh, and this tab down here is for looking at the individual clips that you've got selected. And there's a lot you can do with that. So I'll be saving that for another video, all, the, all this jazz down here. So uh, how do you get the effects that you want? Over here, you've got the uh, browser section. Uh, you can browse through MIDI instruments or MIDI devices here, MIDI effects or these are the audio effects. Uh, the individual audio effects, a lot of them have presets that you can do that or you can just drag a, a default blank one in there and I just put it in between those two things there. So uh, You can also browse through your plugins and I really don't have many plugins on right now. And uh, here are three really, really convenient uh, f like default sort of files that you can have open. So if you've got one folder with certain uh, drum kits I've got here drum samples, uh, this one's you know for other things so that's really handy and um, one last thing uh, down here is the uh, info view box which is really great if you're just starting out anything you hover over uh, will be explained down here so I'm over a clip and you can see it says clip I'm over an effect you know things like that so that's really great um, and it makes it so it's really easy to use right out of the box uh, great, great for beginners to have this open and you can toggle that like this. You can toggle pretty much everything in this. Close this if you want. So yeah, very customizable, very cool. Um, yeah, so that's about it for the basics.